Our local mountains getting a lot of snow the past two days and much more is on the way, as Evelyn mentioned. Kick on eyes Nicole Comstock takes us up to Lake Arrowhead tonight, which has been turned into a winter wonderland. It's definitely worth the pain of chaining up in 27 degrees and driving for hours to get up the hill to the snow capped winter scenery at Lake Arrowhead. Do you come for the snow? Oh, yeah. And, and just the beauty of the place, isn't it? It's just absolutely gorgeous. The San Bernardino Mountains got 18 inches of snow earlier this week and may have 16 inches more by Friday as the next storm rolls in bringing with it a ton of tourists. I grew up with this restaurant. I've been eating here for the 32 years, you know, that I've been alive. <laughs> and bar manager Alvaro Jerome is welcoming lots more people to come try the food at Papagaya's Mexican restaurant. Well, businesses are hoping that this storm will make for a big weekend, but for restaurants, it won't be easy. Their newly reopened outdoor dining area is now absolutely covered in snow. It's just, it's too cold for people outside. Yeah. And um, it's just one of those, we can't really spend money on equipment again yeah. because um, we could put the tents and heaters up and everything, but it's just we already did it once and we lost like quite a bit. So so he's hoping tourists will happily take to go orders. Meanwhile, Caltrans is hoping that drivers use common sense on the road. These are one or two lane highways and you have thousands of people coming up to a small community. District 8 Your spokesperson Emily Linen says don't ask about chains. You'll definitely need them. Yeah, our plows are always running. They're always plowing the roads. But if it's continuously snowing, <laughs> I mean, we're not... We're not vacuum cleaners behind every car trying to suck up snow. You know? <laughs> they don't want to see people stranded, snowplow drivers getting tailgated, or people making the trek in the middle of the storm. You know, I'd love to see a business like this flourishing again, seeing people here. Randall Carp wants to see better days for everyone. Reporting in Lake Arrowhead, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.